Hey, welcome back to another video. I got a sick deal on one of these blue, what are they, what's it called? A Yeti black, Yeti blue, I don't know. It's a Yeti mic, uh, which would go for pretty good money, but I got this for 20 bucks. The person said that it didn't work, but it was brand new. At a minimum, we need to diagnose this thing, so let's get started. Like I said, this is like brand new looking. Uh, it's got a little dust, so it's been sitting on a shelf, but came with this cable, and let's take a look here. You can see a little bit of damage in there. So let's take a look inside here. Oh yeah, you can definitely tell where they bent a few of the pins. Okay, so we got it out of its little holder. Oh yeah, there's a screw inside of there too. Oh, I feel everything getting loose now. Everything's loose, but it looks like the entire thing just pulls out this way, which means all these little knobs and stuff have to be somehow taken off. So this is a good cable. This is the one that came with it. This one's empty, like it broke off into the thing. Let's see here. There you go. So you can see here that the USB port inside the unit actually broke off into the cable. Also, notice how it's bent right here. That could have been what broke it, because if you look at a new cable, a good cable, you can see that good cable straight, this cable is bent. So when it was in the thing, somebody pulled the cable, then it broke off uh, the USB port inside of it, and there you go. Well, that explains more about what happened. I, I was able to straighten these pins out in here, but without this piece of plastic to keep them all straight, there's no way that I'm gonna plug another uh, cable in there. I'd probably short things out. So we need to take all these knobs off in order to get this out. All right, so it's just a aluminum painted aluminum shell, two circuit boards screwed into a frame, so headphone jack, and then your USB plug, which you can see right here where the damage is. Um, it's, it's been bent up. I don't think you can repair this. I think, I think this, this module here is going to have to be replaced. Got the old US removed without hopefully damaging it. This is what it looks like on the other side. It's been a few days. So I found this really cool website called DigiKey and they have the exact part that I needed to fix this microphone. And here we have it. The exact USB port to replace with the plastic piece that's not broken. So all we need to do is install this in the unit and we're back in business. By the way, this was only like $2. This was a little bit more. This was like $6. This supposedly is to help you with getting the remaining solder out of here. So that's what we're going to work on. And by no means am I a soldering king or anything. I wasn't trying to melt the copper onto there, <laughs> but it got so hot. The entire board is getting hot. Well, this is probably how not to do it, I imagine. Okay, so I figured out how to use this braid a little more efficiently, because I think I wasn't using it the right way. Anyway, what you do is you push this to widen the braid a little bit, 
like that. And then you, you basically like pull this across here. And then the solder basically sticks to it. As long as you don't leave it there. So I got the new port in. Okay, it's about as good as I can get it. Everything's soldered. Okay, moment of truth. nothing okay I've got everything put back together again and just wanted to show you what it looks like everything looks basically like brand new again on the bottom is a, is a sticker with the serial number so I registered my microphone and then I opened up a support instant and they're saying that uh, I've been approved for warranty services and what's interesting is they want me to take out the they want me to break the microphone again uh let me show you what that looks like they're asking me to go in and actually break this thing it's to guarantee that it'll never be workable again there you go so it's kind of a shame that um i have to do that but and then with a permanent marker, write the warranty code directly on the microphone. So once we do that, then they will ship me a new microphone, I suppose. Just like that. And now for the exciting conclusion of this long repair. Got a brand new microphone sent to me from Logitech, who I guess is the maker of the Blue Yeti mics. Brand new in the box. I'd say it's a pretty good deal. The one that I bought for 20 bucks was still under warranty and I didn't even have to send it back to them. All I had to do was take a picture, prove that it was ruined and they sent me a brand new one. So hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.